G'day, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you're all feeling fantastic today. Yes, we're going to get into a requested movie. This one is called Chicago, I do believe. And it is starring Renee Zellweger, um, Richard Sear, Catherine Zeta-Jones. They're the three main actors and actresses. It has a runtime of 113 minutes. So, with that being said, let's jump into this comedy crime musical. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Let me know in the comment section down below if you do. And now let's do it. Let's get it. Let's rock and roll. Real loss. Five, six, seven, eight. You, you're up in five. Keep the change, Charlie. Keep the change. Where's Veronica? She's not herself tonight. Yeah, right. Why has she got blood all over her? Or the Kelly sister. <laughs> Come on, baby, why don't we paint the town? Start the car, I know we will be spot where yeah. I hear the father dip is gonna blow the blow. It's all taken care of. You told them about me? Yeah, kid. Playing fast. Hey, See your shiver, shimmy shake, and all that jazz. <laughs> Bruce Woods. He's my brother. Oh, okay. You're kissing oh. your brother like that? All right. Yes. Yes. All right, fair enough. And all. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, say it again, <laughs> all that jazz. <laughs> say it again, Fred. I mean, it's been a month since you told him about me. Cause that was the night Thelma Kelly plugged her husband and her sister. Give him just enough to get him good and hungry. A loose. Leave him wanting more. Maybe we could open up a club of our own, you know? Wake up, kiddo. You ain't never gonna have an act. You were hot stuff. I would have said anything to get a piece of that. There you go. Wow. Ah! You wow. touch me again, I'll put your lights out. Holy crap. Your husband will be home soon. Why don't you watch yourself before you go hitting those sheets again? Yes! Yo! What the hell? Whoa. Hey, mind you don't say we beat it out of you when you get up on the witness stand. No, I gave myself up from the top. <laughs> well, I come home from the garage and I see him climbing through the window. Uh-huh. I'm telling you, it's the God's honest truth. My wife had nothing to do with it. But it makes you sick even thinking about it. Yeah, right. For her first number, Miss Roxy Hart would like to sing a song of love and devotion. He loves me so. Just suppose that he had violated her or something. Think how terrible that would have been. It's a good thing I got home from work on time. I'm telling you that. How could he be a burglar? My wife knows him. He sold us our furniture. She says it's my goddamn hour. Now he shut off his trap. Wow. I quit. She's two timing me, huh? One more brain. What a trap! Some goddamn floozy! You double cross or you big blabbermouth! From what I hear, he's been burgling you three times a week for the last month. <laughs> so what do you That's say, amazing. Fred Casey was a good time on the side with Goofy here as a meal ticket. Or did he forget to mention them? What? Hmm. Kill him again! Once was enough, dearie. Take her downtown. Come on! Well. Not so tough anymore, are you? Take her down to the Cook County Jail. What are you doing? Ever had Morton before? Long as you keep her happy. Hmm. Matron Mama Morton. Another musical number, is it? Ask any of the chickies in my pen. On your feet. That was pretty cool. She'll do one for you. I'd like to be your friend if you let me. When you're good to mama. Good to you. Mama, I'm here to take care of you. Is that nicer? You were the Bell McKelly. An editorial denouncing me in Red Book magazine. Nice try. Huh. If you want my gravy, like the Princeton crew, Mama's struggling to move. <laughs> Squish. 
The six Mary murderesses of the Cook County Jail. No, not chewing. Pop it! I fired two warning shots. She into popped it. his head. I fixed him his drink, as usual. Killed him! And then he ran into my knife. Huh. He ran into my knife. Now for the last number in our act, we did these 20 acrobatic tricks in a row. So this one night before the show, we're down at the Hotel Cicero. And there's Veronica and Charlie, the spread eagle. Well, <laughs> I was in such a state of shock. Amazing. I completely Not the spread that. eagle. I can't That's remember a thing. Nice. I even knew they were dead. They had it coming. 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 Saw him dead. Number Samuel seventeen. Artistic eagle. differences. Pop. Huh. Six. Fresh towels for the camp. Make it quick. Hmm? I mean, Babe Ruth is wearing rouge and playing a palace for five thousand a week. I always wanted to play Big Jim Colosimos. I'll do it for fifty bucks. Fifty bucks for a phone call? Well, he said that what I done is a hanging case, and that he's prepared to ask for the maximum penalty. Yeah, yeah right. So, so, what's your talent? Washing and drying? Damn. Oh, I, I danced in the chorus. Oh, keep your paws off my underwear, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. I'd like to help you, Mary. Besides, in 47 years, Cook County ain't never hung a woman yet. So the odds are 47 to 1 that they won't <laughs> hang you. Billy Flynn. He's only the best criminal lawyer in all of Illinois. Then I make a phone call. hundred dollars? Will you just... I mean, he's never lost a case for a female client yet. Let's just say justice ain't so blind in Chicago. Hmm. Every girl in this place would kill to have Billy Flynn represent her. I love how every thought is a musical. <laughs> it's amazing. I like. I'm Ladies Billy. Billy Flynn. Here he is. I don't care about expensive things. All I care about is love. This is a pretty good movie, isn't it? A little better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Any idea who did do? No, I'll work it out after the trial. Mom, well, talk to you about me. Oh, yeah, right, right, the cute one. Mama didn't say anything about $5,000. Make some sort of arrangement between us. You call me when you got $5,000. <laughs> Keep dun, your dun, money, dun, 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 dun. Well done. Ooh. Well done. Ooh, Amos. My name is Amos. That's right. Take a seat. You're sticking by her. Makes you a hero in my eyes. 300 I borrowed from the guys down at the garage. And then I'll give you $20 off my salary every week. I didn't ask if she was guilty. I didn't ask if she was innocent. I didn't ask if she was a drunk or a dope fiend. No. So I figure you're a dirty liar and I don't waste my time with dirty liars. Your devotion to your wife is really very, very touching. I took your wife's case and I'll keep it. Because I play square. Things would have turned out differently. Sweetest little jazz killer ever to hit Chicago. A reformed sinner. Mm. All right, so tell me. You have sinned and you are sorry. God, that's beautiful. Cut out God. Mm. Stay where you're better acquainted. Mm. Then I thought I'd take a peek at the jury like this. Sounds great. I hope you aren't too bored. I like it. Mm. I heard your press conferences tomorrow. Don't forget, Billy Flynn's number one client is Billy Flynn. You're the one they pay to see. Okay. I can still see him coming at me that, with that. That's going to end bad. And? Both reach for the gun. That's right. You both reach for the gun. My <laughs> client has just entered a plea of not guilty. Do you have any advice for young girls seeking to avoid a life of jazz? Mrs. Hart is very pleased. You see, I was a mom, crushed on the wheel. You know, uh -oh. a butterfly drawn to the to the. I bet you want to know why I shot the bastard. Almost. <laughs> Mississippi. And your parents? <laughs> Understandable. Yes, <laughs> it's perfectly young. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They both reach for the gun. See what this is symbolizing? That they're trying to manipulate the media. A windy city has taken a new criminal to its heart. The 
the sweetest little lady ever accused of murder in Chicago. <laughs> Some little girls even want to take her home. What the hell? Years, little lady. Everybody wants a little piece of Roxy Hart. I mean, you could be as big as Sophie Tucker. I wanted to have my name in all the papers. One big world full of no. No, 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 and no, 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 no. No, came no, no. I've never done this before. Because I'm going to tell you the truth. Uh oh. It was like he was fixing a carburetor or something. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> then I started screwing around, which is. Then I met Fred Casey. That's some bad news, kid. The tour's been canceled. All you read about today is that hard kid. Hmm. She's hot. Suck up to her like everybody else. Well, it couldn't hurt. Hey, did I ever tell you you are exactly the same size as my sister? Well, we'd be a natural to do an act together. You think so? My sister and I were headed straight for the top. We all know what happened with her sister. My sis but my sister is now unfortunately deceased. She'd say you're the cat's meow, then we'd run meow. We'd go. Because you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> I know you weren't. <laughs> so, where was the part where you blew her brains out? You're all washed up, and it's me they want now, and I'm a big star. You were in the paper today, too. Thelma Kelly's trial has been postponed indefinitely. Huh. Seven words. Wow. Damn. Karma. Play out the caramels. Damn, that's karma for you, Baz. This, this evil, this evil prick won't let that slide, I'll tell you that. Now, right now. Chicago, after midnight. Uh, yeah, this, uh, they just arrested this woman for a triple homicide. She's, uh, she's playing house on the north side. Extremely odd. Huh. Gently wakes up Harry. <laughs> Two other women in bed with you. <laughs> so get the Harry's. <laughs> Good night, folks. Hmm. Yeah, right. Mary Sunshine from the Evening Star. The Sunshine. Not now, Rox. I got a letter from a guy. Yeah, that's my question. We got someone new. Yeah, hi, Tracy. Yeah, sure. Just kidding. Hey, do you get my trial date yet? It's top of your list, right? Yeah. Oh, no, get all right, all right. Hey, Tracy. Uh. Now you've come crashing back down to earth. How's it feel, kid? Yep. G. Edgar Hoover couldn't find your name in the papers. Mr. Flynn? Oh, oh, no. oh no, 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 don't, don't worry about me. Oh, I only hope the fall didn't hurt the baby. <laughs> wow. Boom, 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 boom. Is she or is she? She is. Would you swear to that statement in court? Yes. <laughs> wow. Well, my own life doesn't matter now, just that of my unborn child. I'm try the earliest possible moment. You can quote me on that. Lee. Charlie Chaplin. Mr. Cellophane. Oh, hmm. The irony. Look, Andy. <laughs> the irony. Amos. My name is Amos. Who said I wasn't? Laugh? Why would they laugh? Because they can count. Yeah, I guess we hadn't done no copulating since I couldn't be the father. Divorce her. You're damn right. I'm there. Mr. Cellophane should have been my name. I've been waiting here for ten minutes. Don't do that again. Oh, for Christ's sake. A baby sakes. garment. I don't know how to knit. Then learn. They love you a lot more if you're a hang. You know why? Because they sell more papers. You're fired. Damn Quit. Right, Any lawyer in this town would die to have my case. That's Chicago. It's the honey egg. She lost her last appeal. Catalin Holinsky will become the first woman in the state of Illinois to be executed. Wow. Dallas. Just another box. Could be her. You clear about everything we agreed on? Yep. His honor's here. Thank you. 
I've been around a long time. Believe me, you got nothing to worry about. Give them the old razzle. Razzle. Razzle dazzle them. Give them a show. So strange. Your Honor, I haven't even asked the question yet. <laughs> Hello, Amos. This is the one that could make Amos. or break it. When did you file suit for divorce? A month ago. The newspaper said Roxy was expecting a little stranger. You share a bed with your wife? Yes, sir. Every night. Didn't what? What you wanted? Wait a minute. I'm getting confused here. <laughs> Tell me, Hart. Did you even bother to ask her if you were the father of a child? No more questions! You can step down now. Wow. Razzle dazzle. Yeah. Give him the all. Proceed, Mr. Friend. Roxy, I have Razzle Dazzle um. to having the deceased Fred Casely. Is this statement true or false? I'm afraid that's true. When he sold Amos and me our furniture, I suppose I just couldn't stop pestering him. I wanted a real home and a child. So you drifted into this illicit relationship because you were unhappy at home. Was most unhappy. Roxy Hart, <laughs> are you guilty or not guilty? I'm not guilty. Yeah. You're not a criminal. Yeah. <laughs> that me and Amos were gonna have a baby. Did he threaten you, Roxy? Objection, Your Honor. Counsel is leading the witness. Sustain. Kill you before I see you have another man's child. Threw me on the bed, and 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 we both reached for the gun, but I got it first. Wild. 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 And did you think he meant to kill you? Oh yes, sir. The innocent. Child. What a bullseye, huh? <laughs> Playing it. Jesus Christ, they actually got me for a sec there. I actually believed the story for a sec there. Mama, that was my bit. I told Billy I was going to do that at my trial. Mama, she stole my daughter. She stole my daughter! People write some pretty interesting things when they think no one's looking. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> State okay. calls a rebuttal witness. Uh oh. Would you state your name for the record, please? Velma Kelly. Bloody Velma is going to ruin it all. The I'm holding is the one you happen to come upon in the defendant's jail cell. Roxy Hart's diary. I object. Fourth Amendment and, and the illegal search without a warrant. I'll allow it. What's the big deal? Proceed, it's Mr. Harris. I'm just sorry. I only got to kill him once. Get control of your client. I'm sorry, Your Honor, won't happen again. Sit down. How does that make sense? You can just bring a random I have no more questions. The hell? Your witness, Mr. Flynn. A tap dance. But that doesn't make sense. You can be any diary that anyone Kelly, has can you make a deal with Mr. Maybe to drop all charges against you in exchange for testifying here today? Maybe you do me the same honor. I'd be delighted. Thank you. Pledge, and that was my motive for attacking him. You didn't find... This diary in Roxy's cell. Huh. No. Miss Morton gave it to me. She said someone had sent it to her. Well, that's thoroughly and utterly absurd. Your Honor, this is outrageous. It's outrageous, son. Outrageous. outrageous. The defense rests. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is called a tap down. Ladies and gentlemen, the city of Chicago has come to a complete standstill. Mrs. Hart sits quietly at the defense table. Gentlemen of the jury, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. Not guilty. I'll be Will shocked the otherwise. Please rise. We, the jury, find the defendant. Oh! Oh. Roxy, innocent. innocent. What the hell? Hey, don't you, don't you take my picture? This is Chicago, kid. You can't beat fresh blood on the walls. And you got $5,000, and what do I get? Nothing? Five? Actually, it's ten once I collect from Velma. Erroneous phrases in there. Huh. Never lost a case. Wow. You're a free woman, Roxy Hart. I want you to come home. You said Poor you fella. still want I feel you. so bad for him. And the baby? Baby? What baby? There ain't no baby. I can't understand that. I wonder if he kills her. <laughs> For yesterday's news. Isn't it swell? La 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 
couldn't keep him straight anymore. You know, I'm not quite finished yet. I have a, I have. She gonna kill someone else now? Just a second, I'm not. Cut. Thanks. Well, well, well. What are you doing here? Come on, I always knew Billy get you off. Oh, you should learn how to put things behind you. Full of advice for a poor slob like me. He said one chance killer's nothing these days, but two, we can make a couple of hundred a week. Velma Kelly and Roxy Hart. Maybe we could ask for thou. We're worth it. There's only one business in the world where that's no problem at all. Ladies and gentlemen, the Chicago Theater is Roxy Hart and Velma Kelly. Can even marry Harry? Isn't it great? It's gonna change, you know. As a musical, this movie was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I think, honestly, the truth, this is 10 out of 10. This movie was 10 out of 10 because it is a musical. It is a musical, and as a musical, they were able to tell a story inside. And that is, that's incredible. That goes to show how amazing the acting was, how amazing the writing was, and how amazing the direction was. The directing. Produced magnificently. Wasn't too many flaws inside of this. I don't know if this is based on a true story or not. But whatever the case is, it's set out to be a musical and it hit every single number. Every number. It wasn't too many breaks, dance breaks, too many musical breaks. No, it had a blend of that main storyline and the music musicians coming together. It was sensational. Sensational. So... Like I said, guys, for me, this is a 10 out of 10. Thank you very much, Jim, for requesting this. I do appreciate that. Guys, if you want to go watch this in full, head over to Patreon. Like I said, the acting was sensational by all of them. All of them, it was just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Morals, I mean, you do have some morals, but we're not really going to go into them. Um, I mean, a lot of karma came the way of people and justice wasn't served either so it's like it's a mixed bag when it comes to morals yeah so like i said guys it, this was all about a showcase of the musical and the acting skills all coming together and that's what we got that's what we got that's what we want in a musical and we got it so there you go ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching with us if you want to go watch these in full head over to patreon all the links will be in the description down below and remember like i said this was 10 out of 10 I'm giving it a solid 10 out of 10. Take it easy and speak to you in the next one. Bye-bye. Come and keep chasing. I got all this potential that's deep inside of me. But they hate when you're successful because they try to be. They sit there being just mental because you're trying things. And they just want you to settle and do the right thing. So get a good job. Don't slack off.